it refers to where the sound will be produced. In the figure, you can see the seven categories in which the place of articulation is divided. But, let's look at each category individually. The first one is called bilabial. Well, it involves the movement of the lips. We can find the sounds p, m, b, w. Very good, everyone. Number two, labiodental. Well, it focuses on the upper teeth and the lower lip. We can find the sounds f, v. Excellent. Let's continue. Then here we have dental. Well, it involves the upper teeth and the thong. We can find the sounds. <sniffs> Excellent, guys. Number four, alveolar. It is located behind the upper teeth. We can find the sounds. T, d, s, z, da, n. Number 5. Post alveolar. Well, it is located behind the alveolar. We can find the sounds er, sh, j, ch, j. Very good, let's continue with number 6. And it is palatal. It involves the hard palate. We can find the sound y. And the last one, number seven, it is velar. Well, it is produced with the back of the thong near the soft palate. We can find the sounds k, g, m. And the last one, it is glothal. It is produced by the glottis. We can find just the sounds. They are uh, uh, and. We have finished the class. Please, subscribe for more phonetic content. In the following playlist, you can practice 24 phonetic sounds. And see you next class.